Hello, this is Michael Jones. I'm Jay Reason. Today I'll be doing a review on this Green Note air purifier. This is a true HEPA air purifier by made by Green Note. Uh, basically, just an air purifier. Um, take a look at the box. I've been using it for about a month and a half now, and I can tell you, I'm pretty happy with it. And this is just the packaging and how it came. I'll show you real quick. And this is the box. Everything came in different bags. Tons of bags. It came with three, three uh, cards. One of them is a warranty card. And uh, tells you all the warranty information. There's a one year warranty on it. You can email that email address. And a little card. And here there's an instructions manual. It came with this charger. As you can see, it's actually very low power. So therefore, it will not consume a crazy amount of power. And at the end is a pin power plug. This is the actual device, as you can see right here. It's, um, it's quite modern looking. And uh, I'm going to show you how to put it together. So this is how the product comes. Very easy to put it together. This is the filter. You're going to have to replace this um, after some time. Put that in there like that. Put that on top. And all you have to do is slide it and it will lock in place. There you go. Okay, let's talk about the top. Oops, it's this way. Okay, first you want to plug the power in. So take the power, plug it in. Um, it's two pins, so therefore it's not grounded. And over here in the front you have the Green Hill logo. But in the back, we have a power pin. Plug that in. And now it will make that noise indicating that the power is on for the device. In order to power the machine on, you click the power button and just have to put a little more energy into it and it'll make that noise that's powered on and powered off. So that's what the power button does. In order to adjust the fan speed after you turn it on, you can press this button right here and it basically switches gears. We have first gear right here, one indicator light is on, Second gear, two lights are on. Third gear, three lights are on. And that will also make it a little bit faster with the gears. The fan will be a little bit stronger now, and therefore it will use a little more energy and sound will be a little bit higher. However, it will be cleaning the air at a faster rate. After turning it on, if someone would like to set an alarm for two hours, you press it once, four hours, press it twice, eight hours, Press it again. And that's how you could set a timer for when you go to sleep. Now night mode, that's night mode. It turns off all the lights so that way it's nice and uh, uh, dark for sleeping. And it will be on the first fan mode. And uh, that's how it's gonna work when it's in night mode. Now I'm not exactly sure how long it actually takes to turn off when it's not, uh, when there is no timer. But I believe it's uh, within an hour um, I turn it on before I go to sleep and it usually turns off um, after, I'm not sure, after two or three hours, even without the timer, so I don't know. There is a sensor on the back, oops, there is a sensor on the back, right here, it's right under the power, that does sense how much air there is, uh, how much debris there is in the air, dust to collect, and I guess once it decides um, that the area is clean, then it will turn itself off. Okay, so after uh, 2,800 hours, this indicator light is the filter indicator light, and it will tell you, it will start blinking to let you know that you need to replace the filter. After 3,000 hours, then it uh, stays lit to remind you to replace the filter. Uh, once you replace the filter, you hold it down for five seconds, and the light will turn off because it has, it knows that you changed the filter. Uh, there are a few things that uh, you're supposed to do with this, and I've been following it. It's been working pretty well. Uh, first of all, you're supposed to keep it uh, six feet away from any walls. So six feet from here and six feet from here. That way it can work uh, to the best of its abilities. Um, what else is there to say about it? I use this because I have allergies to dust mites, and I find that this helps right by my bed. It helps to reduce the, um, the amount of sneezing and the amount of allergy I have to go through. Um, it doesn't work for radon or carbon monoxide, 
So if you have a radon problem, you should really uh, install the radon fan, um, have someone come install it, and that sucks the air out of the room completely and brings it outside. So um, that's something that you should do. Uh, and carbon monoxide, you should definitely have a carbon monoxide uh, checker, the air checker in your room. This won't, this, this product will not be able to uh, purify that type of air. Uh, so therefore you should definitely uh, keep that in mind when using this product. I cleaned the filter once. I just used a toothbrush and uh, rubbed off the filter. I can show you how I did that. I just took a toothbrush and just rubbed this off into the garbage. And um, it's still very clean, so I don't feel like I really need to do it very often. I think it's supposed to last a very long time anyway. So you can just do that trick instead of replacing the filter, but definitely it's a good idea to look for replacements every once in a while. It's not really meant for large rooms, but it's been helping me in my bedroom and I, that's good enough for me. I put it right by my bed and I usually have uh, allergic problems at night. I'll wake up sneezing and stuff like that. And ever since I had this, it helped me out a lot. So um, I definitely recommend it um, because of my allergy problems. I'm also very allergic to pollen. So I'm not sure exactly what it is, but if it's dust or pollen, this is taking care of it. So I'd recommend it. It's also good when the room is smelly, this actually does help to, you know, kind of clean out the air, make it smell a little better. If it doesn't do an excellent job, uh, definitely recommend getting rid of whatever smells. And if it's a person that smells, definitely recommend a shower or a bath. However, it does, uh, it does help with uh, odors. And I also like how it's not very loud, especially in night mode. Like, I'm not having a problem falling asleep because it's, you know, making too much of a noise. I'm not really a white noise person. So uh, that's my review. Um, I do like it. It's not very big. It's uh, kind of small. It just sits right by my bed. And um, it does its job uh, fairly inexpensive. I like, I like the, um, the timer on it. I usually set it to four hours. And then if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll just turn it on again until the sensor sets it off. So sometimes I just turn it on anyway to clean out my room. Sometimes I have to move it to my office in order to, uh, for the, during the day, but most of the time I'll just keep it in my bedroom at night, which is honestly the best. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. Um, you know, there are other purifiers out there, but I like this one. So it looks cool. It does look cool. With all these things in the touch screen, the kind of touch and the fun noises. You do have to press down a little bit. It's not like completely non um, resistance. So. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped and have a great day.